Okay, once the racket has dropped a foot below, once you get to here, now you're gonna drop the racket down, the front foot's gonna step out. Okay, so we drop it down, the front foot steps out. Now, where does the racket go from here? Remember, it's going to go forward and up. So as we go forward and up, we want the legs and the body to be doing the same thing because we want the body and the racket to be in sync. Okay, so the legs are going up, the racket's going up, and you lift. That's the idea. Now, some players will do this. They'll bend really well, but they stay down with their legs and then their arms trying to go up. And you've got forces going in opposite directions. The legs are going down and the arms trying to go up. It's very difficult. Remember, you want your racket and your body in sync. So once you drop it down, front foot goes out. Now lift and lean forward. That's the way you're going with the racket, and that's where you want your body to go. Forward and up. Okay, you want the racket and the body moving in sync. You want the racket just basically to be an extension of your body. Remember, from the ready position, when you turn your body, the racket comes back. Now where do you go? Remember, you're going to drop it down at least a foot below the ball before you swing forward and up. Now the racket from this position is going to go forward and up. So the body should do the same thing. Sometimes I'll see players go down and they stay down. And then the arm's trying to go up and it's a real tough shot because you've got a force. Your legs are going down and your arm is going up. You've got forces in opposite directions. So remember, once you get to this position, now the racket's going to go forward and up, and the body should be doing the same thing, forward and up. Okay, I'm gonna practice that now. Try and get my racket and my body moving together. Notice the racket and body moving together on the backswing. Now notice the racket and body move forward and up together.